While all roads may have led to Rome at one time, all too often today, roads become roads to nowhere and lead to a dead end. Are people like Candace and Don Wells and even Sheriff Lawson hoping that the case of Summer Wells has come to a dead end? Let's break down the facts. Unless there are some new and significant developments, only recycling of the same subtopics, like the scream heard by the neighbor or the giggling Sabbath school teacher, will continue to produce videos on the Summer Wells case. Not for me, though, since videos of this or of Candace's fuzzy timeline really don't do anything to advance the investigation into Summer Wells' disappearance. The working theories seem to fall into two main camps those who feel that Summer had an accident and is no longer alive, and those who believe that Candace and Don trafficked their child for monetary gain through their creepy church of misfits led by Pastor McFeely. My logical mind simply isn't going to go down that road, but that doesn't mean that this darkly disgusting activity isn't going on in that part of Tennessee. That's the job of the local sheriff, the TBI, and the FBI to get to the bottom of. I've heard that H's father, a man I'm surprised even wants to be identified now that I've seen his mother, is claiming that an arrest is forthcoming this week. I've heard that one too many times to take at face value. I'll believe it when I see it, but it isn't likely going to be the arrest that I'd like to see the most. I remember back when Chris M. did that interview with Candace, the reference he made to a local police investigation into allegations made by H's mother against Candace. Chris didn't elaborate, and he didn't have to. Anyone even remotely familiar with the Summer Wells case knew that Candace was alleged to have been monkeying around with a minor. So if an arrest is made in the coming week or so, it will most likely be Candace's arrest for unlawful, carnal knowledging of a minor. Will this be the breaking point needed to find out what happened to Summer Wells? All we can do is wait and hope that this H's father was speaking based upon what he was told by police was going to happen. I've pretty much firmed up my theory, leaving it to the police to put the pieces together. I believe that Candace had been drugging her child and giving her twisted tea so that she could screw around with this H kid while Summer was zonked out. I don't know whether Summer just didn't wake up that day and didn't get out of the car or if she did get out and groggy from the drugs, had a fatal fall at the home. Whatever happened to cause this child's death, I believe that Don Wells buried the child's body and has known all along where she is. As to why not just call 911 and not Don? This is why I believe that Candace may have given Summer a whole pill, not part of one, and the combination of drugs and alcohol may have caused the child's death. Injuries sustained in a fall are accidental, while a five-year-old dying of a combination of drugs and alcohol is criminally negligent homicide. This is more likely what Candace did not want to be discovered since she feared a lengthy prison sentence. With the passage of time, though, toxicology testing may be impossible, and the cause of Summer's death may not be able to be determined. If someone is able to get this through Candace's thick skull, maybe then she'll decide to tell the truth. Now I'd like to hear from you. Were you also made aware that Atris father is speaking out about an arrest being imminent? Do you think this is true? And if so, will the arrest involve Summer Wells' disappearance or another minor whose safety Candace endangered? Thank you for watching and for clicking on the like and subscribe buttons. See you on the next video where we'll continue to break down the facts.